Hi, everybody. You guys are already waiting for me. That's so great. Thanks. Let me get this adjusted here. It's supposed to start around now, J Monta 21. <laughs> it's waiting for me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this evening. This is my first evening edition of a live video. Is it working? It should be working. I think it should be working. Look at my hair today. Let's see. Adjust this. Hi. <laughs> Thanks you guys so much for joining me. It's so good to see you. It is 7.05 Eastern Time here in Rhode Island. Let me know where you guys are and where you're watching this. If you are staying up late to watch this from a different part of the world, I appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm going to be tasting these. Dun dun dun! Dallas, North Dakota, awesome California. So it's still early, Canada. Yay! <laughs> New York, Ontario, Canada. That's so great to hear from where you guys are actually watching me. That's so great. You can hear me, but you can't see me. I think some people can see me now. Okay, so Greenland. I've always wanted to go to Greenland. So, as I was saying, um, thanks so much for joining me for this evening edition of live tasting. I think this is my first evening edition for me. Chicago, New Zealand, <laughs> Georgia, New Hampshire. Thanks you guys so much for tuning in. As I mentioned, I'm going to be tasting these. I learned about this on social media. And when I Googled it to see how I would get my hands on one of these, I found out that they are not even being offered. So I tweeted Pringles and they sent me one, which is great just in time for Thanksgiving. So all of you Americans know about Thanksgiving, but if you are watching me for someplace else, tomorrow is Thanksgiving and we celebrate it here in the US on the third Thursday of every November. And it's a time of giving thanks and um, also acknowledging the fact that a lot of Native Americans were decimated too, but that is one thing we don't usually talk about. But anyways, we are giving thanks for all the wonderful things that we do have and meeting with all of our beautiful, dysfunctional families. <laughs> I love it, I love Thanksgiving, I love being with my loved ones, and I love celebrating with food and the power of food, of bringing people together. Okay, back to this. So Pringles has made this Thanksgiving dinner. Um, they sent me a little documentation, which I left over there, just be right back. <laughs> So they tease that um, this is not available to the public, but it may be soon. It says exclusive rollout, it's a pilot taste test only, only limited availability, and it's not available for retail this season, but who knows what the future will bring. So maybe next year. All right. Um, Winston. Winston is still around. Winston is not gone. Someone asked me about where Winston is. Um, it is still around. He just made it off the shelf, but don't worry. He's still here. Okay, so this is the Pringles package. It looks like this. It looks kind of like a TV dinner, the way it's packaged. On the back, very handily, it shows you what the flavors of the chips are. Kind of like when you get you know, a box of chocolates, and then it tells you like a little map of like what, what, what is, and it does that here too. So on my camera, it shows up backwards, so I think I can read this all the way. Turkey, mashed potato, creamed corn, mac and cheese, what's this one say? Stuffing, what's this one say? Oh, thank you, Super Chatter. I saw some blue flash by, but I didn't see your name, but thank you so much for your contribution, I appreciate it. Um, what does that say? Green bean casserole, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. So this is a little, this is a good primer for those of you that don't celebrate Thanksgiving of some typical things that we might have during Thanksgiving. So the mashed potato one, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty easy for. So a couple criteria for this for me is whether or not these flavors. Thank you so much, Musette, for <laughs> contributing. It's your birthday, happy birthday. It's her 25th birthday. I'm sorry, I'm presuming if you're a she. It is the 25th birthday of Musette. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And um, as I was saying, my criteria for this tasting is to see how, kind of like my Kit Kat taste test, is like how accurately the flavor kind of tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. 
And um, I almost also am curious about these. I love that they added this as well. They include some recipes. So this is the leftover sandwich. And this is the holiday sweater. And this is the touchdown. So a lot of football is watched during Thanksgiving as well. So thanks, James Fry, so much for your contribution. Two pounds, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. And yeah, so I'm gonna taste them individually and then I am gonna taste these combinations. So um, yeah, I'm thinking the mashed potato. Someone just asked me if the mashed potato, I think that one's gonna be a no brainer um, in terms of tasting accurate, right? Because Pringles are potato chips, right? My glass is even really dirty. All right, the ring is kind of blurry. Brianna, thank you so much. <laughs> I do my best to try to describe a favorite. Oh, Perlise, thank you so much from California. I think it was from California. It goes scrolls by so quickly for being a super chatter. I appreciate you guys, thank you. Okay, so the thing I liked about this packaging, if you can see it on the side, it's plastic and it's a little trough or tray. So it goes like, uh, of course it won't do it on camera, right? There we go. So it slides out like that. Isn't that handy? That's kind of cool, right? So it looks as if, and it looks as if all the chips are intact. Very, very reminiscent of a TV dinner, right? One that you would nuke and eat in front of a television. So there are eight flavors, and. This is how you match it up, right? Oh, wait, hmm. Turkey. Oh, I think this is upside down. Cause this looks like, okay, upside down. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> if you wanna do it this way, um, it kinda lines up, right? I'm sorry, the camera, okay, there we go. So turkey, that's gonna be turkey, mashed potato, mac and cheese, cranberry, green bean casserole stuffing, cream corn, and pumpkin pie. That one should be interesting, right? Okay, all right, let's go ahead and taste these. So I'm gonna open this up, and um, when I do so, I'm gonna have to lay it flat on the table because, well, I can I suppose lift it at an angle so they don't fall all out. All right, I can already smell the chips. Yeah, it smells a little, Okay, uh, inside this box, Thanksgiving, la la la. All right, so this gives you a little spiel about the whole thing. Inside this box is a Thanksgiving dinner. Eight flavors, right? From the main bird to all your favorite sides. That's eight times the delicious, and eight times your mind's gonna be blown. You only have to think this once, though. Michelle, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. All right, oh gee, now I think, I, which way's up? So Django, thank you so much for your <laughs> contribution. I really appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Okay. And I, I keep turning this upside. Wait. Okay. Okay. I got to stop turning this around. <laughs> okay. So it goes this way. And now I'm going to open it. I'll show you down here. Like There it is. Like, let me see if I can angle this without it falling. Oh, don't want to just look at my unicorn there. All right. I'm just going to open it and then I'll just angle it too. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's so satisfying, people. Okay, let me scoot you back a little bit. And angle it down a little bit like this. Oh. Oh, okay. Open this up, open this up. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, James, thanks again <laughs> for being the super chatter and giving me a donation. All right. There it is. Now it's much easier to see because you don't have plastic covering it. Ooh, I'm smelling some smells. <sighs> smells like um, celery salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, anyways. So I can't tilt these up too high. I think the one that looks very distinctive is this one. It's kind of this um, reddish color. That's the cranberry. Okay. I'm just gonna start from here and here and then, you know, go this. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do it in the order that we eat, right? So, oh, for those of you that are just tuning in, I'm eating Pringles Thanksgiving dinner and my glasses are sliding down my nose and you cannot buy this. This is not for retail. I just 
tweeted them and they sent it to me, so it is not, unfortunately, for public consumption as of yet. But that's why you have me! Alright, but the first thing I'm going to do is taste the turkey. This is also not a sponsored post. I'm just tasting this out of curiosity. Not sponsored. Okay, let's taste the turkey one first. This one up here is turkey. Alright, they give you three chips in each slot. And if I can pick one up, I should have gotten regular Pringles to do a little side-by-side -side comparison. So Pringles is a different kind of chip because they are... Um, made out of kind of like powdered potato, so they're not really sliced. Like, so every single chip is exactly the same. And they're not like sliced and fried, so they don't, you know, they're like shaped, right? And uh, I don't know if this will show up on camera. I'm doing a beauty guru, huh? <laughs> um, but it looks like a plain Pringles chip, and there's tiny, there's powder all over it, and then there's little tiny brown flecks. This is turkey flavor, apparently. <laughs> smells kind of potato eat. All right, let's give it a taste. Eat the, got a little excited there. Eat the Mama. <laughs> mm, hey, wow. Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> That's, quite odd. You know what that tastes like? It kind of tastes like, it doesn't kind of taste like, it tastes like fried chicken. It's got that fried toasted flavor to it and it tastes like fried chicken. It's savory and it has some MSG in it. It almost tastes like KFC but not quite complex in terms of flavor but this totally tastes like fried chicken. Not like turkey, fried chicken. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Would I buy an entire can of it? No. But I'll eat one as a novelty. Yeah, tastes like fried chicken. Turkey? Yeah, I would say that's that's pretty that's pretty spot on in terms of trying to elicit. Kronos, thank you too so much. Kronos82. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you so much. What was I saying? Oh, in terms of eliciting kind of a, um, a poultry feeling, sensation, taste, yes, turkey works. All right, so below turkey, Brianna, thank you so much. Yes, I'm going to taste one all together. Well, at the very end, I'm going to taste all eight flavors all together. Thanks so much for the suggestion and the contribution. All right, so below turkey, I'm going to taste this one next, and that is the mashed potato. So the mashed potato looks very similar. Ugh to the turkey, same color, but the powder looks a little bit lighter. Beauty guru. JB, thank you so much for contributing. I really, really appreciate it, and happy Thanksgiving. James Fry, thank you so much. Alcohol ramen, I don't even know what that is. I will Google that. Okay, Tim, thank you so much. I love, <laughs> I love you too and my videos. Thank you so much, and happy Thanksgiving to you. So, oh, mashed potato, back to mashed potato. So this has a little bit of white, powder on it. So I don't think that this one's going to be too hard to taste like potato or mashed potato, right? Since Pringles are potatoes after all. Doesn't smell like much. All right, let's give that a go. What? Whoa. Hey there. That's weird. Uh-uh. That doesn't taste like mashed potatoes at all. I thought that would be a total no-brainer. You know, you've got a potato product and you, you know, mashed potatoes after all, a little butter and milk added to potatoes. That didn't taste like potatoes at all. That tasted almost kind of a chemical. I don't know. I don't know what they put on. Do you put chemicals in your mashed potatoes? I don't. I put like four ingredients. I put butter, milk, and salt. Wow. Maybe I should take a sip of water in between these tastings. Hmm. Well, do any of these contain... Okay, so two of these contain mashed potatoes. So I would do another tasting of it, but I only have three chips. So I can't taste these combinations without ruining that. Man, I only have three chips. I want to taste it again. Mad Z, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. I want to taste an 
that again so I can give you a more specific tasting, but I only have two chips left. And then I wouldn't be able to have the leftover sandwich or the holiday sweater, so. Disappointed by that though, that doesn't taste good at all. All right, let's go to the sides now. The next row are sides. We have stuffing and mac and cheese cream corn. All right, let's go up to the top again and try stuffing because I love me some stuffing. I don't like anything fancy when it comes to my stuffing though. I just like that good old sage celery stuffing. I don't like, you know, oysters or cranberries or... All right, step off the soapbox and taste the chip, girl. All right, okay. It's smelling good. It actually smells like celery salt. It smells like my stuffing. All right, let's give that a go. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Easy. Tastes like stove top. Simple. No brainer. Blindfolded. Like you could even smell this like, like bloodhound this. Yes. Spot on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jose, thank you so much. I still have you as you have noticed have not figured out how to do the slow-mo version of the comments on mobile. I figured it out on my desktop, but I'm sorry. But thank you so much for your contribution. I appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. So that one, spot on, totally tastes like stovetop. You've got that celery flavor, kind of an oniony flavor. Easy, great, delicious. Would I buy a canister of it? No, but <laughs> I will have a side of it as a chip. All right, so we have three down and we have five more to go. Now this one is the mac and cheese one. It has a kind of, oh, I can't really tell, but it has a oranger color to it. You know, kind of like mac and cheese, right? Kind of a yellowy-ish oranger color to it. So, <clears throat> oh, that smells, you know, a little bit cheesy, a little bit sour just like this powder stuff that you add to mac and cheese. You know, when you first put it in, you're like, uh, I don't know about that, but then you taste it and you're like, all right. Yep, that's what that looks like. Looks like the seasoning, now that I observe these more carefully, interesting. I wonder if all Pringles are like this. Now I have to check the next time I eat Pringles. The seasoning is only on one side of the chip. So two sides of the chip, right? This is the bottom, I'm calling that the bottom. And this side is the top. I'm, this side is the only side that has the powder on it. Can you see the powder? No, you can't. Of course not. So this is only si seasoned on one side. What if I turned it upside down? I don't know. Look, our triple chins. All right, let's give that a taste. Mac and cheese. Mm. I did the seasoning on the top. Now let's reverse it and put the seasoning on the bottom. Now, don't do that. Seasoning should definitely be on the top. Because when you would... Dandy, thank you so much for your contribution. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> definitely. Put the chip facing this way. Yeah, it's awkward, strange, this way. The seasoning on top. Because when you put the seasoning facing down, it just sticks to your tongue and it just, it's too much flavoring. It definitely needs to go on top. And that tasted like mac and cheese. Very strong fried potato flavor. So it kind of tasted like fried potatoes and like nacho cheese sauce, which I just tasted recently, and it's actually very delicious. This is okay. It's not very delicious, I would say, because it just has that kind of mac and cheese flavor to it. I'm not a huge mac and James Fry, thanks again. <laughs> oh, the booze recipe from the prison ramen. Yes, yes. I've been meaning to make hooch which is, you know, prison-made booze. But, I, you know, it's a little bit worrisome. Like, if you make it legit, you make it in a trash bag, and you put ketchup and marmalade and anything that has sugar in it, basically. And then some people put an old sock with bread. And the whole thing is a little bit, you know, squeamish. I guess that's why people want me to make it. <laughs> yes, it's, <laughs> excuse me, on my list. And I... Probably will attempt it. Maybe I'll do it for my million video. Maybe that would be great. Shani, thank you so much for contributing. Thanks so much. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving um, to you. I'm not sure if you celebrate it, but happy Thanksgiving anyways. And um, I appreciate it. So yeah, mac and cheese. Back to mac and cheese. I, how do I get on these tangents? Okay. 
Back to mac and cheese. Yes, it tastes like mac and cheese. Very strong, pronounced um, fried potato flavor, though, though, to it. So, cheesy potato more than mac and cheese. It's okay. Next one down, we have Stella. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Doesn't matter. And um, yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you. Cream corn, right here. Now, have I ever had cream corn? Yes, I think I have, but I think I've only had the canned version. It's been a long time. And that's okay. So this is the canned, no, canned, creamed corn. <laughs> Again, the seasoning is only on one side, and it looks to be kind of this yellowish powder. I wish you could really see that up close. I need like a macro lens on my camera. It's like a little dusting of powder. It almost looks like, um, I don't know, excuse me, moss or something right on top. All right, creamed corn. Ooh, it smells sweet. Whoa. Sweet corny. All right, here we go. Mm hmm Wow. Now, that's pretty good. <laughs> that reminds me of a, a lot of Japanese snack flavors. They actually have a lot of that corn flavor. They call it corn potage, which is like this really, really thick, sweet corn soup. And that's that flavor, hands down. It is a bit artificial. It tastes kind of like that artificial butter flavor, but it's a little bit sweet, definitely corny, and I actually quite like it. This. I might eat more than one. Like the other ones, like the turkey one, I'm like, oh, okay, but then I probably just eat one. But the corn one, cream corn, I like that. It does taste like um, that. Claire, thank you so much. <laughs> Doesn't matter, happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you so much. This, I think I would eat more of. It does taste a lot like cream corn soup. S Soraya, thank you so much. <laughs> From hot, hot Atlanta, hot Atlanta, Atlanta? Happy Thanksgiving to you. Oh, Domino, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy Thanksgiving. So yes, cream corn, corn, soup, sweet, savory. Actually, pretty good. Cream corn, and it tastes like cream corn. So it is accurate in flavor, and it's something I would probably eat again. Oh, thank you. Hananta Atlanta. Yeah, I thought so, but you know, you're just never going true. Okay, three more to go. This one is going to be unusual, I think. This one is uh, green bean casserole. Green bean casserole. Shannon, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving to you. <laughs> green bean casserole is something that is a classic Thanksgiving dish here in the US. Green beans topped with, I think it's like canned mushroom soup or something, and then it's topped with crispy onion things that you can get. I think it's made by French's and it comes in a can and then you bake the whole thing. So you've got this kind of oniony top and then you've got very well cooked green beans. It's it's okay. Um, it's not something I, I necessarily look forward to for Halloween. Halloween? Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, let's give that a go. Let me try a sip of water and clear my palate first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For those of you that are just joining in, I'm eating these Pringles Thanksgiving dinner. So everything you you know you eat at Thanksgiving in the form of a chip. All right, here we go. Doesn't smell like what much, maybe slightly vegetal. I don't know. Again, seasoning is just on the top of the chip. Place chip this way. Uh huh. Mmm. Nathan, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. This expression is not for you. It's for the chip. Wow, not good. It's me, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving, I appreciate it. So that, along with the mashed potato, has this strange kind of vegetal taste. I wouldn't necessarily guess that would be green bean. I don't taste any onion. I taste, it does taste a little bit like split peas. 
like when you're having, but I love split pea soup. That definitely doesn't taste like split pea soup. There's no ham in it, but it tastes like dried. <clears throat> oh, it does taste a little bit like those bean mm. snacks. Have you had those uh, freeze dried bean snacks? I actually really like those. They're just green beans that have been dried out, freeze dried, and then they're just coated with a little bit of oil and salt. Delicious. Those are really sweet. It does have a little bit of that kind of beany flavor to it, but these are not delicious. <laughs> not and it doesn't taste like green bean casserole either so that's the green bean casserole that one and that one too is included in the touchdown so i can't have a second tasting of that otherwise i won't be able to have that all right so let me get a napkin here get the residual <clears throat> dust off my fingers so next for Liz, thank you so much. For Jack Daniels, the troll from Les. Les, I miss the troll. Thank you. I always like missing the troll. Ben, thank you so much. It's your pan girl. But thank you guys so much. Happy Thanksgiving to you both. Next one is cranberry sauce. So this is another classic Thanksgiving flavor. Look at that. That one, visually, you can see. It has this kind of uh, maroon powder on it. And then on this side, you don't see it, right? Because the seasoning is only on one size. And this is a classic pairing with turkey dinner. You can make cranberry sauce from cranberries themselves. You add a lot, a lot of sugar because cranberries are just naturally very sour. Or you can get the cranberry sauce that comes in a can and you dump it out and it comes in this really beautiful like cylinder of wobbly cranberry jelly. Love it. Oh yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna to be posting a video for Thanksgiving of a cake. I'm going to be making a Thanksgiving cake but it's gonna include everything. Taco, thank you so much. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you. Um, Thanksgiving cake is coming tomorrow. I made the entire cake with everything you need for Thanksgiving dinner. So I frosted it in mashed potatoes. I put a little tiny Cornish game hen on top. Inside has cornbread and stuffing and mashed sweet potatoes. So it is the epic Thanksgiving cake. So look for that video tomorrow, but it also includes a little bit of cranberry sauce on top. All right, let's give this a go. I'm thinking this flavor won't be too, excuse me, difficult to replicate. Why do I always burp during these taste tests? Don't know. All right, here we go. Mmm. Uh. Mm, mm. mm. So that has a very strong potato flavor. I mean, these are potato chips. Let's not forget that these are potato chips. It's easy to forget that, right? This is the delivery mechanism for these flavors. This tastes very potato chippy, like fried potatoes. I don't really taste the cranberry so much as it's kind of just tart. It's tart, but I guess cranberry, in my opinion, doesn't really have that distinctive of a flavor either. So I think if I were to taste these blindfolded, the only indication that I would know that this is cranberry would be based on the tartness or the sourness. Yeah, that's okay. This one tastes too much more like a, just a potato chip. Nice try though. Sir Muddles, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. I, you guys don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but perhaps you should. I think a day of celebrating Thanksgiving or a day of thanks, I think is great everywhere. But I hope to visit Finland someday too. I really wanna to go to Scandinavia, but thanks so much for your contribution. So, cranberry sauce. That's sort of my opinion of that one. So the last one in the corner for dessert is this one. And this is pumpkin pie. It doesn't show up. It's a little bit overexposed, but this one is slightly kind of orangish brownish in color just a little bit this one i think this is going to be really easier easier to taste easier to taste yeah i think the flavors jp thank you so much i appreciate it happy thanksgiving <laughs> this one i think is going to be really easy to taste as i was saying because pumpkin spice is everywhere as you all know and the flavors are cinnamon nutmeg clove so i think capturing that is going to be pretty simple all right, let's give that a go. Oh yeah. Wow. 
kind of over the top. Oh, I love me a pumpkin pie. Love pumpkin pie. But I don't need it in everything else. That definitely tastes like pumpkin pie. Easy. Definitely tastes in the nutmeg. There's a little bit of sweetness in that too. So there's some sugar in there. Cinnamon. And it's cloying. <laughs> it's still there. Yes, that definitely tastes like pumpkin pie. Do I still taste a potato chip? Let me see. Mmm. So, I do slightly taste the potato chip, but mostly I taste the pumpkin spice flavors. It's, it definitely captures the pumpkin pie for sure. Delicious, not so much, but it does, it's sweet and savory, I'll give it that. You know, that combination of sweet and savory, they got it. It definitely tastes like pumpkin pie. I wouldn't want to eat it again though. But that's just, again, subjective, taste is subjective. I'm not like gaga over pumpkin pie pie flavor, you know, I wouldn't want it and everything. So now I've tasted all of the potato chips. Now let's try the combination of, let's try the recipes. So let's do the leftover sandwich first. We're gonna try the turkey stuffing and mashed potatoes. So one turkey, one stuffing, and one mashed potato. Boom. Three of them all together. Gar, 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 gar. I have never eaten more than one Pringle at one time. Have you? I've never done that. I've never done this before. All right, here we go. So, that mashed potato one just ruins it. It's mashed potato, I don't understand. I mean, it's made out of potato. I think I might take that out. The stuffing and the turkey one go well together. Oh. Mashed potato is terrible. <coughs> Sorry, some of that powder has gone up my nose. Yeah. Don't like that one. I still have to eat a mashed potato one for the holiday sweater, but I don't really want to eat it. Yuck. Don't like mashed potato flavor. Did not work for me. But the stuffing and the turkey one together, yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. That powder, once it gets airborne, gee. Glad I'm not sneezing in your face, y'all. Yeah, so turkey and stuffing go together, but that mashed potato one is just terrible. So I don't want to put it in the holiday sweater, which is pumpkin pie, cranberry sauce, and mashed potato, but I will because the recipe calls for it. Oh, I don't think that one's going to be very good. I just don't. A lot of kind of clashing flavors. Okay, pumpkin pie, cranberry, the dreaded mashed potato. Bah. All right, here we go. Hey. Now. That isn't delicious. But the mashed potato is an absolutely disgusting as it was in the first one, because of the pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie totally negates the flavor because it's so aggressively strong. You don't taste the terrible mashed potato. So this is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, I would call, this one's called the holiday sweater. I would call this one more like the leftovers. It was like everything you have left on your plate and you kind of just scrape it all together and this is what you get. It sounds disgusting, but it's not. It's kind of like this. You've got sweet and kind of savory things going on here, but you don't taste the disgusting mashed potato. So in my book, that's not bad. <laughs> not delicious, but not bad. All right, the last combination is called the touchdown, and it is a uh, green bean casserole. Rats. 
mac and cheese, which is kind of like meh. And the last is cream corn, which was good. So I'm gonna put that one on top. So we have green bean, mac and cheese, and cream corn. All right, here we go. Mmm. All right. Again. This time, I think it's the cream corn that's negating the flavor of the mashed potato. The mashed potato is not showing up. No, it's not. It's the mac and... Okay, that's why I don't taste it. Not the mashed potato, the green bean. The green bean doesn't taste as bad or as foul as the mashed potato. It had that kind of veggie taste to it, but this actually really works. And I think it's because of the cream corn. It has a really sweet and strong corny flavor. And the sweetness was really good with that. And I think also the cheese from the mac and cheese works in this. I think of the three, this one's my favorite. Mm-hmm. When I have Thanksgiving dinner, I think the leftover sandwich would be my favorite. I love turkey and stuffing together, but in the form of Pringles, it was a little bit too aggressively seasoned. So of the combination of the recipes, I think the touchdown is my favorite, oddly enough, because I don't eat creamy corn, really. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Of the three, I think the touchdown, surprisingly enough for me, worked the best. More, more of the more subtle flavors. All right. Oh, rats. So two of those recipes include the mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna taste all the chips all together, but I can't taste it with the mashed potato because I've already consumed them all. All right. So <laughs> let's do all seven remaining chips together. Turkey. It's like we're making a little plate here. Turkey, what's that one? Stuffing. Mac and cheese. Ugh. Cream corn. Here. <coughs> Green bean casserole. Cranberry. Pumpkin pie. Oh my goodness. It's like a, like a saddle or something. Holy smokes. This is just gluttonous. All right, here we go. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. And it tastes like you might imagine, like you just dumped everything together and ate it all at once. Not delicious because you can't really separate any of the flavors, but it had an excellent crunch. <laughs> very, very crunchy. I don't think I'll be eating my Pringles like this. It is a bit kind of sharp in your mouth, you know, to have all these little potato shards in there. But um, yeah, I would just stick to maybe two or three together rather than seven. I look like a, like a mouse is, like look at this mess, like I've got uh, everywhere. Okay, all right. So I have crumbs everywhere and that was that. I think this is the perfect amount in this tray. I don't think I wanna eat any more of those chips, but I had enough to have fun enjoying like making a plate and making recipes, but perfect amount of Thanksgiving dinner for me in the form of chips. All right, everybody, so that was the Pringles Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're up late, thanks so much for staying up late. If you're not up late, I hope you have a great day or a great evening and a wonderful Thanksgiving. Come back here tomorrow and see my video that I'm posting tomorrow for my Thanksgiving cake. It should be epic. All right, Thanksgiving, happy, happy, happy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video or my next live chat. All right, take care of yourselves, bye.